Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Saturday, late afternoon. It has been a frustrating, busy day. Nothing has turned out today the way that I wanted it to or hoped that it would. Let me move the screen so I stop looking at it. Got up, decided that I would just sort of sit around home, get some things done. I tracked the belt that I got the replacement belt for the new think tank bag and it showed that it was actually out for delivery today i was like oh okay it's supposed to be here by 10 something i got plenty to do at home so i'll just stick around first things first let's eat breakfast got ready to pour myself a big old satisfying bowl of trader joe's version of honey nut oats and uh their version of raisin bran and then it hit me shit i forgot we don't have any milk Okay, there went that idea. So I had already started making, you know, a, a cup of coffee, and I thought, well, rather than go out, I'll just, what do I got? All right, I got oatmeal. So I made oatmeal. All right, great. No milk, bummer. Now, segue to the belt being delivered. And I was like, all right, sweet. Well, I'll kind of make it a round trip, and, and I'll go pick up the belt, come back, put everything together, and, and all will be well today. Get it home, pull it out. It's noticeably smaller than the other gigantic one that I sent back. And if I hadn't mentioned it, it cost me $25 in shipping to send that damn belt back to Vegas, to that store. So I totally lost out on that. I got hosed big time, uh, basically from their mismarking their, their own inventory. Okay, great, no problem. I literally pissed away more money than that. Not, okay, great, I'm not happy, but okay. So now I'm looking at this belt and I'm like, man, this thing's a hell of a lot smaller. Can't even barely get it around my waist. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So I look it up and I indeed bought the small. Now, here's the problem. And here's how all this crap dominoed. When I bought the original one from the place in Vegas that was labeled medium and it showed up and I thought to myself, well, crap. If the medium's that huge, I need to find a small. So I immediately found a small, ordered it, and then when I was getting ready to return the other one, realized that it was quadruple XXL. There it all goes, right down the tubes, because then I got the small one and the small one was too small. So if anybody actually had the medium and sent me a medium, it would have been perfect. No belt for the monkey. Now, could I go out and buy some belt belting and have it sewn or sew it myself because I can sew and do all that shit? Yes. Yes, I could. Am I going to do that? No. No, I'm not. The other thing is that the bag itself is still just a little bit too small to accommodate today's gigantic phones. So uh, I put everything back in the pack, uh, pack safe. I always want to say pack sun. No, not pack sun. Pack safe bag, but I'm keeping the think tank bag and I just connected it to the pack safe belting system, whatever. That way I have things all separated out. Part of the problem was that I had so much crap jammed in there that I was afraid that I was gonna crack one or both of my phones. So that's not gonna happen now because only the phones and unlike the, the headsets and stuff are, are in the pack safe bag. And then if I have, you know, like if I wanna throw my keys in there or, you know, some random thing that I need room for, I can put it in there. And then all the other shit that I was carrying goes into the think tank bag. Done, no more bags, no more belts. I'm not dicking around with that. This, at this rate, since I know that that place exists up there on my DC route, I can just go up there in person and look at shit before ordering it and getting it in the mail and finding out that it's not right. And, and that second place, no fault of their own. They sold me exactly what I ordered, but because I was skewed by the first place's mislabeling, that's what happened. Okay, so the belt bag thing sucked, but I've got it put together now, kind of made my way out of it. Now, the other thing is, is that I'm incredibly excessive, if you hadn't noticed. And that goes across every walk of, of life for me. So with my Forerunner, when I got it, you know, eventually my wife's like, stop buying shit for your Forerunner, you know, because I just start loading it up with all kinds of stuff that I need. So I had, uh, you know, I bought all kinds of enhancement. -y to oh, there's a, a little bird on top of that car. How cute. Bye bye, birdie. Anywho. So I, 
you know, I started, without going down a list of stuff, I started buying all kinds of crap for this thing because I like my vehicles, like everything else, to have what I want, to do what I want, when I want to do it. So when I got rid of my Tahoe, I ended up getting that damn Impala that exploded in, in like three years. I had to take everything out of that Tahoe that I had loaded up the way that I wanted loaded. And it sat in the garage. My wife was convinced that when the Impala was destroyed and I had to get a new vehicle that I was going to get another truck. And indeed I was. I pretty much had gone to that Toyota dealership to go in and buy a Tundra. And I left with a 4Runner. It just made more sense. So since I had this 4Runner and I started loading it up and putting all that shit in there, that's when I started going back and getting all the things that I always wanted to put in there that I didn't have. So I've got like a, like a full-size uh, quick jack I've got a compressor, you know, I've got all like the four-way jack so that, you know, or tire iron, whatever the hell you call it, so that, that I can take care of myself or whomever whenever I need to. Again, long story long, because I'm good at that, I ended up putting all that shit back in there today. Now, I had taken everything out when I started transporting the puppies and everything because it was too big of a pain in the ass to put that stuff in cinch it down, and then take it back out when they call me to go get a puppy, because I was doing that a lot. Well, now that I don't transport puppies anymore, because I just don't have the time now that I'm back on the road, I thought, you know what, I'm going to put all that shit back in there. And I've just been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. So today, I put it back in. When I put it back in, I thought that the way that I had put it in, and from the weight of it, that it would have been fine. People don't understand that you know, when you're going 55 plus miles an hour or however fast you're going, if you got something back there and you don't have it like cinched down, it's coming forward and it's going to hurt you, kill you even. I am absolutely adamant about making sure that everything I've got in, in this vehicle is like cinched down so that it doesn't go anywhere, like into the back of my melon, especially because I'm on the road all the time. Now, because I carry this shit around with me, it gives me the opportunity to be somewhat of a good Samaritan. And I have indeed at times stopped and helped people on the side of the road, change their tire, you know, put air in their tire, fix a flat, you know, things like that. All right. Again, yesterday I talked about doing a reset and every once in a while I do this. I shave my hair off. I cut off all my facial hair and then I lament and I whine about it because I cannot stand the way that I look without facial hair. Just like my wife, I can't stand it. And for me, it's because I've got this damn turkey waddle freaking thing that drives me insane. Wow, something's flying around back there and that needs to be cinched down. Anyways, I can't stand that. And when I have that little chin strap, you know, in my, in my beard here, it is enough to throw off the fact that I've got this damn thing. Every once in a while, again, like when I gotta do the resets, it's another way to remind me that I cannot stand the way that I look and that I need to grow my facial hair back. That's what's happening this time because I'm already like, holy crap, I'm not shaving this shit. You know, I got to grow this back. I'm going to grow it back a little bit different. It was just a little bit too long and unruly and fuzzy and sticking out and I look like a hobo and I didn't like that. I'm going to grow it back, but not as long as it was before. Now, the other thing that it has done, and that is in conjunction with the fact that that damn belt didn't fit me, is that I realized that I have put weight back on and I don't like it because when I shaved it, I, I felt like I looked like freaking Marlon Brando in, in Apocalypse Now. And the whole night last night, I just kept looking at myself going, the horror, the horror. And, and I don't want to feel that way. Also, because I could barely get that belt on and it went up to a 34 and I was just like, you know, like a just a, it was, it was horrible, but it was very, I'm going to say in a, in a positive way. It's motivated me to get off my freaking ass and stop gaining weight and start getting into condition again. Yep, I'm going back to, to really pushing forward to, to get myself into condition. And I don't want to say to start working out because that's not what I want to do. I just want to get into condition. And uh, also I've been revisiting a book series that I really enjoyed. And, and this guy's in really good condition and able to do cool things. And, and I want to get back to that. So that's what I'm going to do. So for now, I'm going to go into three ships here and get some bean and then go home and just chill out and wait for my wife to get home. And then I'll probably go for a walk. I just sort of wanted to give you that data dump. Started out, I guess, early on and throughout most of the day of having things not work out the way that I wanted them to, but ultimately ended up finding a way to make it all work. So I'm going to take it as a positive. Frustrating, but 
it's all ending up okay. Now it's time to go get some bean and treat myself and chill out. So that's it. Got to stop saying so. Sorry. All right. That's all I got for you today. As always, thank you for joining me. Like, subscribe. Oh, I almost said, well, let's go back to it. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up. <laughs>